left rod, breakfast time. Yep. Yeah, what's going on? Draining. What mess have you got me into now? <laughs> huh? It's not cold, too cold though. It's just raining. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good night in the tent, was it? Mm, pretty okay. Yeah. yeah. Better than last time. Or day before. Thunderstorm and uh, lightning, yeah? Yeah. Dominant blitzing. But we had that the previous night too, for the previous morning. Yeah. But you didn't see it that. Yeah. It, was, it was sunshine when we woke up though, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is what we like on Frodham Wheels. Yeah. A bit of excitement. Challenges. That's, that's what we do, you see. You know? Let it pour. Let it rain. Let's get everything wet. Everything soaking clothes. I mean, he said it's he said it's pretty uh warm, but look what I'm wearing all this gear. Fleece and everything, and a hat. Long trousers even. It's strange here in France you see, and I'm surrounded by a few of them, so I have to be a bit quiet, is that they're all walking around with t shirts and shorts. <laughs> look at them. This is summer in Brittany. We're not even in Brittany, actually. We found out the frog has got it wrong again. Brittany's further north, you see. So if you want something done, I was going to say you have to do it yourself. But I'm going to change that. If you want something done, don't let the frog do it. This is frog on wheels. Okay, Friday, it stopped raining. The weather's looking up. The sun is out and about every now and again. Are you, uh, we're ready to go soon, yeah? Yeah, we hope so, indeed. Yeah. Just down a uh, stroll down by the beach. What do you reckon? Nah. It's nice, huh? He have something which you don't have back home. I, what? I, I, I never seen it. I think ever. Yeah, okay. What, is, what is this? What is it? This is... A, you have these cans, yeah? Yeah. And if you have cigarettes, you can just take the can, take it with you on the beach, yeah? And you can smoke a cigarette, put it... In, put the butt... Uh, or the... Yeah, cigarette butt, yeah? In the... In the can? Well, you, you know, while you use it. And you can put the butt in the trash and basically put the can back again. Sort of a recycling, yeah? Okay. You use it all over again. It's brilliant. So what they're doing, encouraging you to smoke really, aren't they? Which they isn't do. it. It's not they something Frod and Will sort of subscribes to, is it Froddy? <laughs> no, I, I, no, but it's, I mean, the concept for smokers. I mean, if you smoke a cigarette, you can stroll along the beach and instead of, you know, polluting the beach with your cigarette butt, you just put it in a can. Okay, yeah. so you so reckon this is a good idea, yeah? Yeah. This is what this is what Frod and Wills is all about. Innovation, yeah, Frod? And uh, moving forward. Pr protecting the environment. The environment, yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Need I say more? Frod and Wheels, friend of the stars, man of the people, protector of the environment. Yeah, Frod? <laughs> yeah. We're still in Sulak, mm -hmm. Sumer. Mm -hmm. Are you sur? Mer? Or are you sur? No, I'm not. I'm not angry. No. no. I'm just waiting for the rain to stop, yeah? Because it's been going on and off all day. Yeah. We had, we had sun, we had rain, then it's rain again, and then, you know, it just never stops. No. It seems. So um, I'm just really curious about uh, you know weather forecast and all that if that's going to change now because if it does and it keeps doing this like it rains now I'm not going anywhere. But well, on front of wheels we make the best of it. Fresh baguette, butter, you know what we do. I'm not one for cycling in uh, weather like this. I would be tomorrow though, that's the thing you see. If you get 
rain like this all day, then I, I you know, I can stay in a nice town like Sulak. But the day after I camp, I mean, rain or shine, it's we're moving on tomorrow. But really, we think we're just going to go to the, you know, to the take the ferry. It's eight kilometres away, and then we were going to stay at a hotel in the Royal. Uh, the weather should be looking up at two o'clock, which is in 46 minutes. 46 minutes, folks. And we hope we can pack up, get out, and be on our way. And then uh, ferry over, ferry across the Gironde to Royan. I hope you're going to be joining us. I hope, I hope we're going to be joining us because it's not sure whether we'll be going. So, see you later. Folks, we promised you history. I don't know if we promised you su uh, surprises, but you know you get that on front and wheels. La Batterie d'Aro, one of the famous landmarks in this area. Part of the Atlantic Wall, you know, on this coast that, you know, that looks out on the Atlantic. Built in 1942-43 under Hitler's stringent orders. This is it, La Batterie d'Aro. It was protecting the, pro the approaches uh, to the Gironde that leads to Bordeaux. There were a lot of, uh, you know, all refineries or what have you, down that stretch of water that leads down to a beautiful city. Beautiful city it is, yeah. Mid April 1945, though, you know, I, it's strange to thought that the Americans would have taken all this area, but they hadn't. So, three French forces made an assault on the fortifications. And it was on the 18th, that's when they came in from the land, that's when they had the final push. And the 19th, 7 o'clock in the evening, the Germans surrender. A thousand men fell that day. Over 300 French uh, free fighters were killed and 700 Germans in the space of three days fighting for this piece of cement. Now it's history. History for you at home. Front on wheels. Come on, let's go and have a look. Off run? Yeah. What do you reckon? Hey, hold the cow. I can see that they were not defenseless, at least for some point. And the. Uh, yeah, the cow out there, yeah. And then. It's not the only one, is it? No, it's huh? not one just right over here, isn't it? Yeah. So. Yeah, this was a big, uh, big thing, for sure. Yeah, big guns, yeah? Oh, yeah, definitely. Do you know the size of the guns? Uh, I believe it was 162 millimeters, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. yeah. You see, front and wheels do our research. We know these things. The fraud knows his guns. <laughs> As you can see, um, what's left is rock and graffiti, really. Well, a bit of iron up here, it looks like, rusting. It's amazing, it's because it's a long, long time ago now, isn't it? But you'd have thought that some people would have shown a bit of respect for this. I mean, uh, the graffiti here is a bit... Look, front on wheels was here. Obviously, was uh, probably a machine gun turret up here. Uh, I 
is it's not rusty this stuff here this has been uh, placed uh, only recently to stop children jumping in and playing around the kids listen to your parents listen to the authorities we don't want you getting hurt okay yeah um we found what seems to be uh the main quarters for the germans station there yeah well, let's go in then shall we shall we try yeah i think okay. i've got my lights with me okay but i'm your first then so let's go in it's my light oh, on. All right. yeah. Okay, we have what looks to be some yeah. sort of yeah, passport yeah. control. Whoa. Okay. My light's on. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go have a look in here. Oh my God. There are these are uh, huge rooms. So this is where they've been sleeping. Yeah, Frod. Yeah. Looks like it. Would you have liked to defend this place? Not really. No. No. No, no I wouldn't like you to defend this place either. Battery that are us, I mean, you've seen it, and just think about it loads of artillery and shells were pounding on this, all these bunkers. There's not that very many marks, are there? So, what does that tell you, folks? That uh, war is not good. Frog and Wheels does not subscribe to war. So, uh, I'll leave you with your thoughts and reflections and. Uh, Send us an email, what you think, everything. I'm going to sit down and have a quiet moment by myself now. What escapes me, right, about all of this is that April 1945, mid April, I mean, Normandy has fallen. Uh, this is way after the Ardennes, uh, the, uh, the Russians are outside Berlin. Why would the Germans really want to defend this place? And on the other hand, why would the French freedom fighters sort of feel, find it necessary to take this place? The war was more or less over. But I don't know, it's something perhaps we'll never know. Um, Perhaps we'll read a book or something. Perhaps the fraud knows what it will be answer is. I'll ask him later. Yeah, fraud. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Uh, Three hundred Germans. Seven hundred. French, 300 French, 700 German, sorry. Yep. I'm not the historian here, you are. <laughs> why on earth, why did they do it? Why didn't they just... The Germans just possibly just like beat so much that they want to keep it, yeah. I can understand it being a nice place mm -hmm. to uh, serve during the war. I mean, I mean it's really, really confident there, I'm sure they didn't want to lose it, yeah. But why? Why would the why would the French attack at that stage in the war? Come on, give us your honest opinion. It has to do with national pride, I'm sure. National pride. Yeah, they wanted to, you know keep the whole France, not just part of it. Yeah. Three hundred French, seven hundred Germans died on those fateful three days. The Battery des and I'm wondering why. But of course, it wasn't the French army that attacked, was it? These were free French fighters, and as the frog said, it was the Asaurian here. They did it well, because of national pride. We go up to Brest. The Americans did not invade the, you know, the area where the Germans were holding, holding out. They waited until the war was over. Hitler had died and all that. And the Germans gave up, surrendered. 
So, it was, you know, French, normal French peasants, or bakers, people who worked as taxi drivers, windsurfers, they wanted their country back. And you know what? Here's a cheers to them. And cheers to the fraud. Hail to the fraud. Well, as you can see, this is a street where children all evening have been uh, drawing, you know, drawing hearts and drawing uh, people, messages of love. Children. And in the end, you give the fraud a pea share of wine and he's off, leaving his mark. Well, that's uh, life, folks. That's the fraud. That's what he does. He leaves his mark. Good night, bon nuit, bon soir. This is Fraud on Wheels. Next time on Fraud on Wheels. There you go. Oh look, it says no cycling. You're not allowed to cycle up here. Whatever that means.